Hello everyone. What we're looking at this morning is a uh, little box I put together. It's a box I got from Home Depot. I use it for normally holding parts and all that sort of stuff and it's double sided. It's only about um, maybe four inches thick. Um, but um, since it's double sided it really comes in handy. So what I've done is just basically put um, things together inside here to uh, make a Cosmo streamer. It could be any video server that you want to use but that's the one I'm using for the software. So I'll turn on the um, monitor. The monitor I have on the other side is just 10-inch, or you say 10-inch one, yes. Uh, takes about 12 to 14 volts, so I put a little voltage regulator in there. Anyway, next thing I'm going to do is put a switch here for the Pi and have the voltage, but I haven't done that, so that's just for the monitor. So let's have a look inside, nothing fancy. So what we're looking at right now is basically um, a Pi 4B running... I think it's a 2 gig. No, it's a 4 gig, but a 2 gig will work easily. Uh, but it's running the Cosmo Streamer software. And that software allows you to, of course, connect a uh, TFT or any type of monitor directly to the HDMI output. Um, and it also has Wi-Fi, of course, which then is going to stream it out um, uh, to your local network, or you can stream it out to YouTube. It's a multi-server. And right now it's configured as a, one for the monitor, one for the local area network, and then um, one for the uh, the wide area network, which is the inter the uh, the internet. So it's pretty versatile. A, a 4S LiPo, dropping it down to about 12.6 volts uh, through this uh, little regulator, and that just keeps the the monitor happy. It'll go up to 14 by itself, but I put it in there just to keep it a little bit cooler, I think. So anyway, nothing to that really. You just close the like this, flip it over. And if you look on the side here, I've got a little hole right here. And that's where um, I just have it sticking out for demo purposes right now. But that's where you pull out the cable, which plugs into the DJI goggles. So I'm just going to flip this over. And this is the other side. Like I was saying, it's double-sided, so it really comes in handy. And what you'll see is the um, Cosmo streamer running right now. It's not hooked up to the goggles, just for the demo here. I just didn't bother to put it in, but, and I put put it in here um, quite easily. It just fits perfect, and this is a 10-inch monitor. It's even got its own uh, remote control for turning it off and on. But um, anyway, really simple. I was looking for something compact that I could put in the field or I could carry around, whatever the case is. And um, I think I'll just turn that off here. There we go. And um, you don't have to have the monitor on. Right now, you can just pick it up and use it as a, uh, a video server. So even with the monitor turned off and it's all packed up there, um, it still is working. Uh, the Pi 4 is still on right now. And uh, let me see here. I'll turn the monitor off. There we go. And if you didn't look at the back, it's hard to see in the camera. But anyway, there's a little blue light right now that indicates uh, that the, uh, the Pi is on. And um, it's working right now uh, as a streamer right to my uh, local area network. So anyway, nothing fancy, just uh, maybe an idea. There's the look of the box. Again, it's, um, oh, I think I said about four inches. It's not even four inches. It's about three and a half inches thick. And this is about um, approximately 12 inches in length. So pretty small. Nice to tote around and uh, lots, lots more space for other ideas here. So there you go. Talk to you later.